sunshine. This is the warmest day we've had all year so far. It's about 16 degrees and there's not a cloud in the sky. It's gorgeous. Now this week's going to be quite a short one I feel, mainly because I've been doing lots of non-video related projects this week like regrouting the bathroom and I'm really not enjoying that job at all. Anyway, what I will do is give you an update on what's happening with my seeds. Let's have a look. The alisum are out cauliflower are out. The leeks are just starting to come through, you see? But no news from Parsnip City, Sweet Corn City or even Butternut Squash City. I'm not too worried about those because they usually take a little longer to germinate anyway and they need the weather to be just a little bit warmer than it has been lately. By the way, if you can hear a kind of buzzy noise going on, it's because I've been invaded by flies again. It happens every year at about this time. They don't last for very long and a bit of fly spray and a twirly sticky thing soon takes care of them. These are my two trays of the lobelia that I planted and you can see they're just tiny, tiny, tiny plants. But there's loads of them. Now over here I've got the phlox and the cineraria and you can see they're both coming up nicely as well. They're lying down a bit because I've just given them a really good soaking. Then I've got my stocks and my salvias. I can see with the salvias that not all the seeds have germinated yet, so I may have a few more by next week. As you can see, my chilli seeds are doing quite well. I'm going to have chilies this year. Hurrah! And finally, take a look at these tomatoes. These are doing really well. These are the San Marzano and these are the Harbinger. For some reason, either these are twins or I accidentally planted two seeds in here. Anywho, they're coming on really nicely and it's not going to be too long before I have to pot these up. So it's about 11 days since I planted these seeds and as you can see they're coming along really well. I'm really pleased. Now then, let's have a look at a hanging basket. Now you might remember that last year I planted a hanging basket. And this is how they look at the moment. There's lots of little green shoots on this one and there's some hints of green shoots on this one as well, these two. I'm going to take these out and repot them. The two at the back look pretty lifeless actually, so I'm going to take those out and refresh this hanging basket. So let's loosen up some soil around here. It's quite tricky. Okay, there's the dead one. Let's remove that one. And the other dead one at the back. Right, I'll just get rid of this compost. Now I've noticed a couple of holes in the liners. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reline it with a bit of plastic. Start popping in some multi-purpose compost. Now some people are probably going to want to tell me that I should have holes in the plastic liner because it helps drainage but I always find that moisture retention is more of a problem in baskets than water logging. I've never known any of my hanging basket plants suffer from a glut of moisture. Right, now then, I'll pop the first of the fuchsias in. Now what I really want from this is all the shoots coming out over the edge of the basket. So this shoot that's pointing inwards, I'm actually going to take that one out. Throw that away. And just trim back to where the shoots are. Okay, I'm quite pleased with that. Now I'll take the other one, put it so that the shoots are kind of pointing out this way. If you imagine the wall here where the hanging basket is going to be, I want them kind of pointing out. Let's get rid of some of this rubbish. Okay, now I can fill in with some more compost. 
and I'll give it a really good water. Now I'm not going to hang this up just yet, I'm going to keep it in the greenhouse for a while, let the plants get established, get some good shoots on, and then when it's growing nicely I can hang it up outside. Oh poo! In the process of sweeping up I've managed to splatter my nice clean lemon top with all these bits of mud. Eck. So I think on that note we'll go and have a look at a bit of colour in the garden. go let's have a look what was happening one and two years ago this week. I'm in the greenhouse again and you remember last week I left you with a buzzing noise well this week no noise and look successful sticky death I told you they worked and all with no added chemicals. <laughs> Well that's all I've got time for this week, but I promise you the next week will be filled with action. The lawn might get cut, I've actually bought some azaleas to go into the front garden, I've bought some grow bags and it's all going to be happening again. So thanks for watching and do join me next time in Titley's Busy Garden. Mm -hmm.